Welcome back to the Church of the Holy Schwa on the Holy Pronunciation Channel. <laughs> yes, yes. Can you feel it? Can you feel the power of the Schwa? And the Lord speaks through me with British pronunciation. And today, friends and family, we read from the holiest of books, the ultimate British pronunciation course. Get yours now at puppeteachme.com. Now the devil, the devil is the American English er sound. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fine if you want to learn American English pronunciation, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but here we learn British English pronunciation and praise the schwa. I said this sound, this sound, it's the most common sound in British English pronunciation. And if you plan to speak like British people, you need to learn it, so let's pray. Yep, the schwa is the most common sound in British English pronunciation. And this is the symbol for it. You'll see this in dictionaries where they show the phonetic pronunciation of words. And also, it's definitely in your English classroom on the wall. I mean, is it really an English classroom if it doesn't have that phonetic chart that everyone ignores? So this is how you make the schwa sound. Uh. Do it with me. Copy me. Uh. Make your mouth shape the same as my mouth shape. Uh. Uh. One thing to be careful of. Are you saying uh or ah? Uh? Your lips, your mouth should not have any tension at all. No. Relax your lips. Let the jaw drop slightly. And just push out a lazy sound. Uh. So, when do we use it? Well, answer me this. What is my job? Say it now. Say it at your screen. What's my job? I want you and you and you and you to close your eyes and say it with me. Teacher. Exactly. Teacher. Let's try some more words. I will give you a clue, a hint to what the word is. You have to say the word to your screen. David Attenborough, he makes documentaries about what? Nature. When you have legal trouble, legal problems, who should you see? What is she? What is her job? She's a lawyer. Lawyer. Say it with me. Lawyer. A what? Expecting a man? Of course you were, because you're a bad person. Pfft. I'm kidding. You're lovely. Okay, next. Um, if you feel sick, you feel ill, you go to the hospital and you see a what? Congratulations, you're a sexist. <laughs> That's a male nurse. <laughs> I wrote this and <laughs> it's so silly. That's a nurse. You wanted to say... That's right. A doctor. Say it with me. Doctor. When a word like these finish in an R sound, American English pronunciation pronounces it with a heavy er sound. For example, teacher, doctor, lawyer. But British English replaces that R sound with a lazy schwa. Teacher, doctor, lawyer. However, Remember that when you make this sound, it shouldn't sound strong or emphasized. Your mouth should be completely relaxed and let out a short uh sound. Mm, actually, let's make this better. Let's compare American and British English pronunciation of these words. Okay, first. Teacher. Teacher. Doctor. Doctor. Lawyer. Lawyer. Nature. Nature. Computer. Computer. Culture. Culture. So don't over exaggerate the sound. For example, it's not like doctor. No, that will sound weird. Don't be weird. So the schwa isn't formal or informal, it's not cockney or posh, it's just the most common sound that we all 
use. And it's not only the R sound which is replaced with a schwa. For example, how do you pronounce this word? Where is the stress in this word? There are two syllables, but which syllable is stressed? Police or police? Hmm. What do you think? Well, it's the second syllable, police. So that first syllable is not stressed. And that is what we call a weak form. It's a weak form and that becomes a schwa sound. Other examples, let's try this. Two syllables again, which syllable is stressed? Okay, so you made your decision, cool. If that syllable is stressed, the other one is unstressed, right? Weak form, it's a schwa sound, uh. So try to say this word with that schwa sound where you think it is. This one is stressed, so pencil, pencil. The first syllable is stressed, so the second syllable has that schwa sound. Say it with me one more time, pencil. Also, did you notice the L sound? If you watched the last lesson, that's a dark L and we can change that to a W sound. Pencil, pencil. That's an option in pronunciation. You don't have to change it to a W sound. You could just say pencil. Both are totally fine. It's your preference. All right, three syllable word. Hmm. This one, there are two stressed syllables here. So one has that weak form. Which one do you think? Saturday. So those two syllables are stressed. We will pronounce them properly. But the middle syllable is unstressed, weak form, schwa. So sa t day Saturday. That's just in words, but this is also true in full sentences. For example, I want a coffee. If I just said to you, want coffee, you understand that I want coffee. So these two are the most important words, the, the main content of the sentence, right? So those two are like extra, not really important information. They become weak forms and also just sound like a schwa. And this is where you understand intonation, right? So if those are the important words, those are the words that we stress. So I want a coffee. Did you hear the schwas and the stressed words? I want a coffee, see? And also notice that the word coffee, yes, it has two syllables. Yes, the first syllable is stressed. But if the vowel sound is an E, you don't change it to a schwa. It wouldn't be, I want a coffer. No, that doesn't exist. Okay, so using everything we've learned in these three lessons, I know, can you believe we've done three lessons already? How might you pronounce these three sentences? Again, remember, there's no one perfect correct way. There are many options. We've already covered some of them and we will cover more in future lessons. But for today, I just want you to think about unstressed syllables, um, important words in these sentences. Also, yeah, play with your uh, T sound, the glottal T, the true T, posh T, if you want to change the L sound to a W sound also, if you want to drop any H's. Um, just as an example, I might read this as the first one. Hang on a minute, is that the police I can hear? Again, that time might not be how I pronounce it the next time. It all depends on my mood and how fast I'm speaking, blah, blah, blah. But the first H I dropped, the one in here, I kept that one for some reason, I don't know why, but this lesson is focusing on the schwa. So, I made the a ah, a schwa. Hang on a minute, uh, a minute. Is that the police? Now, very, very often, the is pronounced with a schwa. 
I have a whole video about when you pronounce the and the and everything in this video. So if you want to learn more, click that. However, let's move on for now. Number two, can you pass me a bit of pizza? And number three, are we meeting up Saturday? Yeah, these are all questions. I will go into more detail about focus and word stress in questions in the next video. But for now, I want you to play around with the sounds in these three sentences, see what works for you, what feels comfortable for your pronunciation style. Again, remember, this course is about developing your own individual British pronunciation style. It's not about copying any one person. And if you haven't already, make sure you get the free ebook for this course. It'll really help you remember everything better and follow the lessons much more easily. You can get it at puppeteachme.com. Just put your email in, I'll send it to your email. Easy. Thank you, fellow believers of the Holy Church of the Schwa. If you want to donate all of your money to the Holy Church of the Schwa, you can call this number right now and give just all of your money. Don't worry, it's not real. None of this is real. We, there's no Church of the Schwa. But if you want to get the ultimate British pronunciation course, get it free at puppeteachme.com.